before I focus on these girls properly, I'll focus on the back of the boxes to show you something. Right, here's the box of the first doll, the one in green, which came from America. And here's the one that came from the UK, Amazon, both from Amazon. See the difference in size? The UK boxes are much, much small, smaller. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get into the light here. I'm not disrupting the spider's web. <laughs> See, look, I've got it on the macro setting, but it's not focusing very well. I'm sorry my inadequate equipment is not good. Let me try and refocus. I think that's as good as it's going to get. I've put new batteries in, so hopefully there's enough space on the memory card. So here's the American box. And can you see the difference in size? The British box is much smaller. Plus, the box from American Amazon has an inspirational quote, but the British ones don't have any inspirational quotes for some reason. I don't know why. I wanted to know what this one's quote said, but um, she hasn't got one. So I wonder what it will say if I see if I have to watch some videos on from the American buyers and hope that um or someone who's bought one from America and hope that they will say what her quote was. I'd like to know these things. I was going to call the green one, green dress one, Lexi. I mean, sorry, get it right in a minute. She was going to be Layla. And this one, Lexi. They were going to be Layla and Lexi, but I didn't think Layla suited this one. And she came in the middle of June, so I've named her June. And I think I'll call the one in the stripy dress Layla. I don't even I don't like particularly like the names Layla and Lexi, but I'm running out of options. Um I was gonna get that one, but I thought no, I don't it's just a typical Barbie. I do like the dress though. Well, I'm not mad on it, but it's okay. This one doesn't look as nice in real life as she does in her picture. I haven't got that one. I d probably will. I want that Ken, but there's a story about that. I, I ordered he with this one with the poncho type dress, which I don't like, all the cowboy boots, but I like her face and her hair. And they were about to come and then it's an undeliverable. I've been returned to the American Amazon, so I've had to order again. This one I'm still waiting for. This one I wasn't going to get, she's a typical Barbie, but I like the skirt she's wearing. I don't like that top, I don't like those silly... It's a bit naff, strong girls make waves, it says. It's a bit, oh, ridiculous, a bit cringy. And quite honestly, but their faces are so bland, they don't exactly look strong. I'm not saying they're going to look fierce, but they could look a bit more... You know, they look like, if you say, go and do that, oh yes, all right, whereas, they, you know... They don't look like they'd say, no, go and do it yourself. I'm not saying everyone should be like that. I shouldn't, I'm not saying they ought to look aggressive, but I just wish some of them would look a little less smiley and more sultry with more makeup on. Anyhow, this one doesn't look good with those sunglasses on, but she's got a very pretty face, so I've ordered her. And this one I'm waiting for. She's coming from Britain, so um, she probably won't have an inspirational quote either. This one I'm waiting for from America, and this one, which I had reordered, not those two. So that's the box. So yes, meet June. She's already featured in my haul video on my third channel, but I'm going to put these on the doll channel because they're just dealing mainly with dolls. And I thought people might appreciate seeing just those rather than having to plough through all the other stuff but I because I know some people just want to see dolls and nothing else but I do include them in my hauls on my main channel which is my third channel so that's June and this is Lexi and they're both curvies, curvy dolls now this one her hair is disappointing it's it's um yeah it's coming out hair keeps dropping out and it's also it's um I've brushed it to try and improve it but she's got a load of bold patches oh, sorry I've, I've only got two pairs of hair I mean I've only got one pair of hands so you know holding the camera with the other see there's you can see her head she's got bold patches and I was I was hoping she was going to be like the other pink haired curvy doll with 
black roots to make it look more natural but she hasn't I hope I'm not shouting because I'm very close to the camera and sometimes when I play it back the audio so and then I spend all my time apologising for the inadequate equipment so I shouldn't keep mentioning it but she's got a two-piece on which is nice it's a skirt and a top both velcro at the back to undo so they're easier to, than to pull, pull on but push on oh, the pull off push on ones get stretched with the elastic so I'm pleased it's velcro but her hair is like the nylon fibre of the unicorn dolly the one where they call the unicorn one the one I've named Rana with the long lilac hair with rainbow in and her hair there's much better than this one's and this one like the other one is not like the one I just shown you June they're not as pretty in real life as they are as they looked in the boxes and I've seen a video of this one where she looks nicer than the one that I've got here I just I think their faces just look so bland I wish they'd put more I'm not saying they all have to be like it we can go for a more natural look with most if that's what they want nowadays but let's have like super high heels killer heels and um you know real high spike heels and intense makeup with glitter like the dolls used to have I'm not you know obviously they're not going to all be like it they, some people that's going to say oh we want them looking natural well, that's fine this one looks natural apart from just the fact she's got I think she's meant to have lipstick on but it's so bland and washed out you'd hardly notice it so uh, anyhow I've, it's a plus I'm pleased I've got her obviously don't like the shoes I do like the outfit though I think that's nice and I like the colour of her hair I just wish her face was more intense but she's nice, nice dolly I love, like all my dollies now I'm just going to focus on some of the fashion packs the, this is a top from one fashion pack and a bag that Jewel is wearing here so um and there's her shoes, she, know, she already had those and the skirt but um so that looks quite nice on her I think so that's Jewel Here's Shin with um the shorts fit her, but the top is too big. It would really look better on a curvy, but the shorts are too small for a curvy. So um this was uh, these up uh, there. These were together in one fashion pack, meaning they're supposed to be worn together. But the top is too big for a regular size, and the shorts are too small for a curvy. So it's not consistent I wish that they would make outfits especially for curvies and especially for regular tall and petite and then everyone would be happy like in real life you can't expect oh because there are larger people all clothes have to be made to fit larger people so that smaller sizes will have to go around looking swamped in massive sizes well you know this is what they're doing with the dolls and it doesn't work Weekend mode, yeah, another silly slogan. Not a fan of the slogans. Anyhow, here's Marzarell in her new fashion pack. The bag, the skirt and the top. She already had the shoes. At least the pattern extends around the back on the skirt and the top. They're not on the bag. It's like a keyboard, which is quite nice. And um, this skirt is a little bit too big too big for her but so I had to put it as far around as I can because this skirt also fits a curvy and but the top is too small for a curvy without really stretching it but the curvies their bust size is the same size on top as the regular dolls I've now noticed which seems rather odd but still perhaps there'd be complaints if they gave them larger tops larger you know larger boobies there'd be complaints from mothers groups or something we don't want our children seeing you know, they're toys they shouldn't well if they're meant to reflect real life you know if a doll is curvier below the waist they should be slightly bigger above the waist as well but that's just my opinion you don't have to take, take don't have to take any notice and here's Joy wearing the final fashion pack, that dress. 
pattern extends around the back again. That came with the um that came with this. The came with that, I think. Yes, it did. And uh, she already had the shoes. And I'm not going to keep her with this necklace. I don't think it really goes with her because she's more cool colours. Cool. So I might give it to Jewel, but then again, my doll Lorelei might end up with it. We'll have to see. But so this is the dress, and that's quite nice. Let me try and show you the back. There we go. It's nice. 